everyone, I'm Allie with Potomac Beads. Join me in making this fun button knotted necklace to wear all year round. You can do it with a bunch of vintage buttons that you probably have laying around and just some cording. Gather up the materials and if you need any, you can get the links to purchase from us at potomacbeads.com as well as potomacbeads.eu in the description below me. So the first thing we're gonna do to get this video started and to do the necklace is have some wax linen cording. Now I have 13 total feet of wax linen cording and I cut it into two pieces. So about six and a half feet to seven feet for each piece. I then doubled over the cord and I have this fun clasp that is a pearl clasp or a pearl shortener called a clip clasp. And it has two links and then it has this that opens and closes. You can either knot directly onto the clip clasp or tie a loop. I'm gonna take advantage of the loops that I do have and I'm gonna put it through the loop and then put the loop through it. Tying it on double then, that's gonna take and do that little half hitch knot, take the threads over both ways. And now I have four pieces of my wax linen cording hanging down from the clasp. When I go into the clasp, then I'll simply clasp it on for a nice finished end. On the other side, I will do the same thing and connect to the other way. What you need to figure out now is exactly where you want your buttons to start. And wherever you want your buttons to start and wherever you wanna have your thread, you can see kind of me holding them up here. I'm gonna have my buttons start down at about six inches after the thread. Taking both or all four threads, I'm gonna do an overhand knot with that cord coming through and not all of the ends. That's gonna be my main knot that's gonna allow these four cords then to separate and stop my buttons from moving up and down along the design. I have a collection here of my cup buttons and then we also have our silver spacers, be it round or irregular, and we're gonna be begin one strand at a time adding on our buttons as well as our silver beads. So here I have my first bead on my cord. So I separated those first four cords and I'm gonna put one of my antique silver beads on let it drop down just a little tiny bit and tie a knot to hold it in place. That knot will hold the bead and you don't need to worry about it coming over the knot. If you tend to use a bigger hold bead, you may need to, to actually tie two knots. I'm then gonna pick up my first button. Doesn't matter what color it is. And I'm going to go, if you have four holes, you just ignore two. I'm gonna go down through that table cut button with that same thread, and then up through the back. Move that down along the line, all the way till you stop close to that silver bead. And you wanna have your beads as far apart or as close together as you want. It doesn't really matter for the design sake. After the button, I'm going to tie a knot leaving just a little bit of space after the button laying flat. Add on my next silver bead. Tie a knot. And then add my next button. So the buttons are gonna work as spacers with the silver beads as the connection point and the pattern will change along the design. So after you're done stringing on and, and uh, adding in your first row of buttons, you're going to start on the second row. It's nice to lay the first row next to the second so you make sure that you don't have the exact same colors anywhere right across from one another. It's also nice to make a variety and to kind of vary up the different beads that you may have so you don't have the silver right next to one another as well. When designing and making this project, you can also throw in other beads and other buttons, not just those table cup buttons. I'm gonna begin with another button in some alternate colors, bringing in some different colors to this side of the design, adding in perhaps every one or three, one of the silver beads just to add a little pop of brightness and that shine. When you get to the end and you can see it's an organized mixture of colors of the cup buttons. Every once in a while I changed up the pattern on the four strands. You can do an endless amount of strands going in with my silver beads, adding one silver bead, then one bead, maybe two even in certain spots and just held them up as I was working with them so that the same colors aren't sitting right on top of one another and I get a nice variety that I have kind of oranges the whole way along the piece and blues along the piece and so on. At the very end, you have to decide if you want them to sit right on top of one another 
like I'm going to be doing, or if you want them to have a little bit of a variance in length. If you do want them to have a little bit of a variance in length, think about keeping one less button or one half an inch less for each strand to have them sit so they look graduated. After doing the end of the button, you're going to simply take your four pieces of your cord and do a simple overhand knot, taking all four pieces through that cord that you gave. Now I have much more cord than I need. That's in case you do wanna do more of the section knotted. I have a fair amount extra that I will be able to cut off. From here, also if you want to, you could take this thread, come back through and make it even longer. I'm gonna take the end now and connect it to the other side, going to where my knots are, evening them out so I have the same amount of thread of that wax on and cord on both sides. Going into my loop here, I'm gonna do the loop on the other side, feeding the loop through all four of the cords. I'm gonna cut them down just so it's a little bit easier. Have that loop go through all the cords, straighten out the cords, making sure they're all sitting even, making sure again that it sits the same length as the other piece kind of stretching because the wax cord will have just the tiniest bit of stretch. And then again, simple knot overhand. Bring that knot down and give a nice tight pull. The wax linen cording is really, really forgiving. So you can kind of pull it down. If you want to, you can drop a dab of glue there. And then you have your clip that's gonna clip one side to the other side. Again, if you want to also, you can just do loops on this end and you'll be able to connect in that way. Thanks so much for watching and having fun creating the button knotted necklace. Remember, if you need any materials, check around the house, but if you need some more, check the links below the video in the description to purchase from us online at potomacbeads.com as well as potomacbeads.eu. Remember, you can also like the video as well as comment below, letting us know your difference in designs that you're making and helping out fellow beaters. You can also stay connected with us by joining us on Facebook as well as our Facebook group for beading and jewelry making. Also subscribe to this YouTube channel to get regular updates from us here at Potomac Beads. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy your own button knotted necklace.